Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. It's part two of three in this, our Caribbean cruise series on board Piano Avia. There's no time to waste. This is what you missed and this is what's coming up. Let's do this. I mean, look, it's amazing. <laughs> Here's what you missed in part one. Coming up in part two, we arrive at La Romana, Dominican Republic, spend a day at a beautiful national park and on the island of Sauna. Back on board Avia, we experience the Keel & Cow Speciality Dining, pop-up acts and entertainment, room service goodness, a day at sea, 6th Street Diner lunch, beautiful sunsets, the not-so-silent silent disco, we arrive at St. Martin for some underwater adventures, rum punch, beautiful beaches, and back on Avia for speciality dining at Sindhu. And here's the continuation of our Caribbean cruise. Our seven nights included ports of call at Barbados, St. Lucia, Dominican Republic, St. Martin, Antigua, and three days at sea. Good morning from the Dominican Republic, and the sun is just coming up. It looks beautiful. So as is common in the Caribbean at cruise tunnels, you have uh, a village for passengers which have got lots of shops and restaurants and bars this one's very interesting because they've got lounges everywhere and a pool which is free to use how awesome is that we're going for a quick keys breakfast this morning matthew's got his omelette little bent sausage hash brown looks good again like last time no lines to get off Muchas gracias. Always useful to know. Thank you very much, La Romana. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey. Oh, look, they've got a crew area. That is awesome. Slip, slap, slop, slop, zip, zip. Get that on your bum. And like a Disney ride, straight through the shop. Oh, you're going to enjoy shopping in here, folks. Wow, it's got everything. Now then, obviously you need to see the real Dominican Republic, but this village on the doorstep of the cruise terminal is awesome. We're in Flamingo Heaven here. Uh, just off to the right, by the way, is that whole pool area with those awesome ocean views. Oh my God, I said awesome three times in the last minute, haven't I? Oh, that looks fun, doesn't it? I know, I know, he's on another piano excursion. They're like buses, I haven't done any for ages. And then suddenly on this trip, here we go, Sauna Island, it's gonna be awesome. This excursion starts with a 30 minute bus ride from La Romana to Bahia Ibe and an hour's speedboat ride to Sauna Island via a national park. Right, I've been tagged like a dog, speaking Spanish already, love it. La Romana is the name of the province, you know? Now, no people there. Alrighty, so during this excursion, we're traveling by multiple modes of transport. <laughs> uh, first of all, coach to Bayaibe, which was about 30 minutes. Oh, empanadas and jugos, yes please. Right, shoes off before getting on the boat. Right, we're starting off with a speedboat. Oh, the water's beautiful. Gotta wear these. Mama. Right, our first stop is the National Park of Cotu Panama. So this is really shallow all around, perfect for swimming. And there are starfish everywhere, just don't touch them. Beautiful! And yes, there is a floating bar over there. You know me though, I'm not one for drinking. Starfish everywhere. Wow, it's stunning. 
Welcome to Sauna Island. Adios to our speedboat. We'll be making our way back to La Romana by Catamarang later. How beautiful is it here, folks? Oh, total paradise. Oh, total heaven, I swear. Oh, listen. I hope you can hear that, all the wildlife. open bar here it's included in the price of your excursion lunch is also included it's buffet style and you have a seat over here under the covers if you are looking for a piña colada here apparently very famous in these parts uh, it will cost you 10 us dollars i'm having one <laughs> of course i'm having one and also bathrooms just ahead they're very colorful oh look at this oh i wonder if i'm gonna get in a pineapple that would be awesome and lounges are also included in your excursion fare Alrighty, we have some fruit, lots of salad items. Oh, those tomatoes and cucumber look awesome. Bread, potatoes, rice. I don't know what that is. <laughs> More rice. There's also a spaghetti, chicken, pork, fish. I'm sticking to vegetarian today. Mm. I love spaghetti like that. Olive oil tomato bit of seasoning what more do you need look what's arrived my piña colada yes dominican republic keep these coming wow i just watched them top this up with uh dark rum oh wow that has to be one of the best piña coladas i've ever had stunning Someone said to me on Instagram just now, you're looking very, very smug. And yes, my darlings, I am feeling it as well. This is awesome. So a bit of information for you. This tour lasts seven hours and costs a total of 89 pound per adult. Oh, hang on. Priorities, my darlings. You'll get about two hours and 45 minutes on Sauna Island. And at the national park we were at a little bit earlier, about 35 minutes. Smug, 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 No, 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 don't go over my nipples. Don't, don't, don't. No. Ah, ah. <laughs> right, back on our speedboat, which is going to take us to our catamaran. Transfer time. Oh, I feel like I'm on Bravo's sailing yacht. Thirty-two tier four patrons. I got you covered. We got a welcome home. Oh, I'm back. That was actually eight hours, not seven. And I completely forgot it's Boxing Day. Does that mean it's still Christmas? Oh, there's not many people at Vista Ice Coffee. All right, this is a painful experience now. No line to speak of, so just being missed. Decided to take a seat. Didn't get served and joined another line again. I need to be told they've run out of something that I want. Not very patient after an eight hour discussion. <laughs> Got there in the end and they made it perfect. I'm calming them. Although I was calm just now. I was just annoyed and calm. Calm and annoyed. See you Dominican Republic. I bloody love you. Holy macaroni, look at the moon. Going totally tropical for Boxing Day. Oh my god, there's so many people on board who need to pick their freaking chairs up and not drag them. Right, I've got a serious question for you all. When does it feel like it's not Christmas anymore? 
For me, it's as soon as I go to bed on Christmas Day. What about you? Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas Day. <laughs> yes, happy Christmas to you too. It's not Christmas anymore. I've literally just vlogged about it. And Maple, yeah. That's it. Have a lovely rest of your holiday. Thank you. Alrighty, time for a drinky poos. Not a poo, just a drink. In the glass house. Our bar of choice at the moment. Right, all these need to come down now. It's Boxing Day. I'm done with all this. Thank you. Can you just demonstrate how these chairs move, please? Matthew actually spun Carol of Paul and Carol up to travel around until she threw up once. <laughs> oh. Cheers, Matthew. Here's to Boxing Day evening. It's not Christmas anymore. It's in a queue for upstairs. Yeah. Matthew's putting us in a virtual queue for the Keeling Cow. This is a Greek wine, by the way, chosen by, what's his name? Not Oli Murs. He's the singer. Oli. Oli Smith. Smith. <laughs> it better be good, Oli. Mm. That's really nice. Like notes of orange. Love it. Thank you, Oli Murs. I mean, Smith. Uh, Oli. Oli, Oli, Oli. Oli, Oli, Oli. Oh my God, we're getting reports of lots of rain and cold back in the UK. And I'm so jelly of you all. No. Right, welcome to the Amber Lounge. Now then, they've got some very interesting sounding cocktails here. Rum based. Seven treasures. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Oh, no, that's Sorry about that. that. No, what do you reckon? Just in case you've forgotten where we are. Actually, can I just say, a lot of these seven treasure cocktails sound like me. Look, tropical, fruity, spicy, strong, fresh and fruity, rich, fruity and effervescent. It's all me. Oh, that's a Matthew look. Strong, intense and bittersweet. <laughs> Does that sound about right? Yeah, yeah even he knows just that. Bitter, not bittersweet. Oh, no, take off the sweet. A treasure island for Matthew. Listen up, I'm not getting into dress code debates because I couldn't give a monkey's. But important to know that on a Caribbean cruise, it's absolutely acceptable for men to wear tailored shorts. They're not all tailored. Uh, and pumps in the evening with a, a collared top. Like this, for example. And something that's not strangling you. Holy macaroni, look at these. They've done a fabulous job. Thank you, Amber Lounge. And look, with Matthew's Treasure Island cocktail, he's got some chocolate. Here he goes, Treasure Island. What do you reckon? Not good. I thought it was delicious, very strong. Like a Mai Tai, but it, strong one. A very strong Mai Tai with chocolate coins. Yay for very sour passion fruit martini, I think. Oh my God, that is the sourest thing ever and I love it. Okay, after three, I want you all to sniff, okay, really hard so you get a lovely waft of this passion fruit. One two three sniff uh table's ready rare occasion matthew actually stopped for a picture and allowed me to do it without scowling at me anyway matthew's taking me to the keeling cow tonight which is very kind of him and i hope he pays a uh, speciality dining hopefully without that noise of the screaming child running around on the floor oh yes we'll be we're being taken miles away dishes are priced individually here have as few or as many as you want. Matthew was just saying he loves the cheesecake here, but can we please focus on starters and mains? Thank you. Good reputation here for steaks, by the way. Not that I'm a steaky person, actually. I'm not. There you go, the baked New York cheesecake. That's one Matthew loves. He loves it so much. Right, Matthew has a Mai Tai, which looks totally tropical. I've gone with another passion fruit. Cheers, Matthew. Holy shit, that's strong. You be careful, Matthew. Wow, that's really strong. It's very good as well. Here we go. Matthew's got the spatchcock plus poutine and a salad with bacon and avocado, tomato. It looks great. Go on, Matthew, pour that gravy over. Ah, oh, poutine all the way. Oh, he's going over his cock as well. That sounded terrible. I know you're going to be like, what the, the heebie-jeebies have you got, Jamie? I have basically an Indian feast of dal, onion bhaji, some spinach, and this little beauty is a cauliflower and sweet potato Indian-style pudding. Boxing Day treat. 
let's go for this pudding. I mean, if you've been following me for some time, you'll know I, I'm sorry, I'm like, that's really rude of me. Look with my fork. Oh, you'll know I love Indian and Southern Indian food. That pudding is delicious. It's got such depth of flavor and spices and chili. Oh, I love it. And by the way, Matthew's poutine is so good. It's a bit like Kentucky Fried Chicken gravy multiplied by a thousand in terms of taste. Love it. Matthew's favorite, New York cheesecake. Oh yes. Matthew is definitely the king of cheesecakes and he said this rates very highly on his cheesecake scale, if there is such a thing. Here comes the pop-up entertainment in the Grand Atrium. cabin and our laundry has arrived thank you jesus i don't know if these are good prices are they good prices matthew he's like shrugging shrugging his shoulders and saying standard Alrighty, look what i found i mean i had a tiny meal tonight didn't i i didn't have a starter at all oh go on let's have a quick look at how much each of these dishes cost oh the asian bento box by the way, that is certified fresh by Captain Wesley Dunlop's wife, Fiona. She knows her bento boxes. What a damn shame you've got to pay for it. And then another payment on top for delivery charge. Ugh. Let's be honest, breakfast in bed is a bit of a sorry state of affairs, doesn't it? Look, you can get juice. Something from the bakery, yogurt, fruit, cereals. That's it. Not even a hot drink. Damn you. Okay, dial 5,000. Oh, hi, good evening. I'm just calling from cabin 12705 and wondered if I could uh, please order uh, one of your chicken mushroom and sweet corn pizzas and also some French fries. All right, that's great. Thank you very much. Bye. Don't you dare judge me. Don't. I'm always hungry. I'm a growing boy. I'm 21. I think I'm going to watch Top Gun Maverick. Not seen it yet. Ooh. There's a lot of film choices on here, actually, and you don't have to pay for any of them, unlike MSC. Oh, look what's arrived. Matthew, look. Matthew. Matthew. Ooh, those French fries look nice. Bit of mayo, ketchup on the side. Oh, my goodness. And I love a chicken, mushroom, and sweet corn pizza in bed whilst watching... Top Gun Maverick. What a lush I am. Mm, I love that. I love it. Put sweet corn in my mouth and call me popcorn. Alrighty, it's time to sign off, my darlings. It's been a fabulous day. I've eaten my body weight and then some, have I not? No, I'm not going to raid the nibbles cupboard. I've not seen how much I've eaten. I did actually um, replenish the nibbles cupboard today as well, but not going near it. Um, it's sea day tomorrow. Goodness knows what we'll be getting up to. Hoping to have a bit of a lion actually. Really tired, very, very tired. Maybe a bit jet laggy as well. Actually, I've just overeaten and over drunk alcohol probably isn't it mm. anyway see you in the morning Mwah. good morning everybody it's sea day and the sun is out what a surprise eh Yes, it's going to be a busy one out on deck, I can tell. It's ten past eight in the morning, and even prom deck is getting busy. It's breakfast time. Uh, 
and yes, he just ignores me most of the time. Probably for the best. You would as well. Life force. Thank you very much. Right, we are in the zenith for our breakfast. A nice start to the day. There he is, buttering away. What a weird thing to say on a vlog. There he is, buttering away. Health, health, health times. Right, Matthew's gone with the crushed avocado on toast, which has a little bit of chili and lime, and a couple of poached eggs as well. He's not had them like bullets today. Pancakes and banana. And yes, I sliced it myself. Good boy. Matthew and I have got this multi pronged attack in Vistas now. So he goes up to join the takeaway line. I have a seat and we see who gets served first. I won today. This one is perfect. Again, no syrup. I I had it. Oh my goodness, there's nobody in that yet. I'm getting in. Alrighty, it's now 10 a.m. No lounges on prom deck, but a lot of chairs. Matthew's just perched there. Lovely. Who said you can't get a spot in an infinity hot tub on a busy sea day? Not me. And a shower right next to the hot tub as well. Alrighty, at the aft on deck 16, Avia is blessed with an infinity pool and bar. I call it a swim up bar. Okay, so it's busy, but there are seats available. Uh, water is a decent temperature. It must be if I can get straight in, folks. Thanks, Matthew. He's delivered some sun bum for me bum and iced coffee for me mouth. Yay! So those of you who know Victoria lost a shore over on Instagram and X, this is one of her friends. Hi, babe. <laughs> Tell your mum she's missing a fab cruise. Love you. Oh, Mrs. Lost, what are you doing by not being here? I know, she's let the side down. Did you, you, you might not know this, but I pushed Mr. Lost off a rope course once. Fab, love it. Yeah. Love it. Nice to see you. I love you, babe. Bye. <laughs> and another. I'll be bouncing off the swim up bar walls. Oh, I love it in here. And I know you're going to say, is it really a swim up bar, Jamie? So I'll have to demonstrate for you. There you go. <laughs> oh, I love these infinity pools. Beautiful. I'm also enjoying the pool temperatures on board. They're just a little bit fresh, but you know, with the outdoor temperature being so warm, perfect. And I don't say that lightly as a total win. So on Avia, you've got water fountains on most passenger decks. I think that's a brilliant move forward. Fabulous sea day so far. Just back in the cabin and gonna spend a bit of time on that balcony. If it's busy out on deck and you've got a balcony cabin, wow, there you go. Gorgeous. You can join virtual queuing for some of the dining arrangements on board by accessing myholiday.po cruises. Simply click on the restaurant, how many guests are in your group, whether you need any access arrangements made, and whether you'd like to share a table with other guests. You'll then receive a message when your table is ready. You then have 15 minutes in which to click on I'm on my way. And off you go. Alrighty, Sixth Street Diner lunch for us. <laughs> A shaky shaky roo roo roo. Right, look at the brunch menu. Yeah, you can do all day breakfast here if you want to. An exclusive cocktail to Sixth Street Diner. Alrighty, Matthew's gone with the nachos. And the crispy wings for me. And they do actually look very crispy. Yummy. Alrighty, Matthew has gone with the uh, California Club. I've gone with the chicken, rice and relish. I love the look of that gravy. And yes, we've gone with a side of the corn and loaded fries. Is that enough food for you? Mississippi mud pie for Matthew. And shortbread and strawberry. I think it's fair to say that on our last cruise on board Avia, back in April, around the Med, we weren't the biggest fans of Sixth Street Diner. The portions were quite small. 
and some of the dishes just didn't work today. I think we are pleasantly surprised. Bigger portions, uh, more flavoursome. Yeah, we'll give it another go. Capitan said he was going to dodge any rain showers and look, he's doing a fab job keeping it in the sunshine. Go Captain. How beautiful! Now then, the sun sets about 5.40 p.m. in the Eastern Caribbean at this time of year, late December. Wherefore art thou, Avia? We are the Blue Triangle. Time for my beloved crow's nest. Oh, Elena is playing. I love her. Oh, we're waiting an age here. You know when people arrive after you, get served before you, get the drinks before you've even ordered? It's that kind of evening. Yes, I've been to the bar. They tried to send me away. I said, I'm really sorry, I know you're busy, but your staff can't see us, so please can I order a drink? But they haven't arrived. <laughs> Hallelujah, finally, 30 minutes later. Cheers, Matthew. You know I hate waiting that long, don't you, folks? Right, what are we doing tonight? In, out, in, out. We're going to shake it all about. What do you reckon? Out. I know you're not supposed to down that, but... Oh my God, we are actually going to the buffet. The last time I went to a buffet was on Ambassador and it was horrendous. All right, we've got lots of salad to choose from. Cobb salad, celeriac and apple slaw, orzo pasta, asparagus. Oh, I'm very excited that me and Matthew have got a little booth. We've always wanted one of these. All right, I'm starting off with cauliflower soup, a little bit of salad and a brown roll. All righty, we've got the usual carvery roast with stuffing, gravy, rice, tagine, potatoes. There's a wild mushroom madeira and truffle tartlet. Deli section with your cold cuts, a little bit of fish. Blech. Oh my goodness, we've even got sushi. I haven't seen that on board before. We've got rice and beans and jerk chicken. Oh no, there's a shepherd's pie. I've seen it too late. There's also paneer cheese with uh, vegetables, kebab style. Radio, I got jerk chicken breast, some potato, vegetable, pan juices, Yorkshire pudding. I know, what's a Yorkshire pudding doing with jerk chicken? I don't care. Okay, whilst I am struggling to make this plate of food look really appetizing for you, the jerk chicken is absolutely delicious. Massive win. Huge surprise. Yay, there's a summer vibes disco going on at the sunset bar tonight until late. All right, we're in the sky dome. The roof is open. There's a lovely Caribbean breeze and we got some summer vibes. Oh, here we go with the silent disco. It is so popular. The line to actually get the headphones has been sneaking around the atrium. I always call this the not so silent disco. Mind your ears. <laughs> I am gonna finish watching Maverick with... Nibbles, what to have? Um, sour cream and onion or cheesier than the cheesiest of the cheesies. I'm going cheesy. And now Pringles. And just to dispel the myth that a cabin is only for sleeping in, it's also for eating Pringles. Don't let anybody tell you what to do on your holiday, my darlings. You do what you want <laughs> to the rest of them. Alrighty, it is time for Betty Pools. No booing in bed, please. Very excited that tomorrow we are going to be going to St. Martin 
and it's all about the S's tomorrow. Sun, swimming, and snorkeling. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, and Sindhu, how could I forget? Sin don't. Sin do. Don't do. Say all your kisses for me. Bye bye, babe. Lavender me up, baby. Lavender me up. Seriously, have a good sniff of that. <sighs> good night, my darlings. I love you so much. It actually hurts my soul. See you in the morning. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everybody. We're coming into St. Martin. Fabulous. Oh my goodness, it's so quiet. It's so peaceful out. Apart from me, of course. Come on, wake up, everybody. Oh, hey, Viking Sea. We've been following you, haven't we? We got waffles from the Keys. Little Caribbean village for cruise passengers. So if you're on a boat trip, it looks like that's where you're going to pick them up. I think they also have water taxis that take you across to the beach over here as well. All right, let's go ashore. Still no lines to get off. All the S's today, sun, snorkel and swim. This is about 50 pounds each. Hey, baby. You've been treating us well, I must say. You know these little contraptions are to stop vermin from crawling up the ropes, don't you? Which I think is a shame. Let the rats run free. I love me rats. I've been tagged like a dog again. It's Sharkies. I know some cruise passengers won't get past that. It's always happy hour in the Caribbean. There you go. Take your water taxi to the beach and shopping area. $7 round trip. It's about a five minute walk from the ship to the dock to collect either your water taxi or if you're on a boat tour like us. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. Here's our boat for the day. No shoes or flip flops on the boat. Ooh. See you later. Just a short 20 minute boat journey from the dock to our snorkeling point. Here goes the Matthew. Snorkel mask and fins are provided on the day. Ah, oh, that's nice. Refreshing. Oh, I've lost the Matthew. Where is he? Matthew! Oh, oh look, there's Matthew. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> There goes the Matthew. He did very well. Kudos to the Matthew. We've got a bar on board. How awesome. Hi. <laughs> Rum punch. Yes. With ice. Cheers, Matthew. Thank you. On we go again. Waves. Oh, thank you. Just one more, I promise. Cheers. The very famous airport. <laughs> right, we've got a beat stop. In you go, Matthew. Woo! There's Matthew with his noodle. Why not, eh? Ah, beautiful swim from the boat to shore. I think Matthew made it. Ah, this is so nice. I think I should have come for two weeks, you know?
we're back. It's lunchtime on board and we're heading to the Meridian main dining room. Oh yes. It's so quiet in here. Right, what to have folks? Or well, what do you think I'm gonna have? Place those guesses. These smell delicious, by the way. Oh my goodness, they are delicious. Trust me on this one. And the lentil and bean chili. So this chili is delicious and it has big fire. Very spicy, love it. And Matthew's fried chicken sandwich, which is delicious, by the way, with pickled veg as well. Lovely. Jam roly holy poly for Matthew with custard. Is it steamed? Oh, he loves a steam roly poly, don't you? Low sugar carrot cake for me. Wowzers, I managed to get a lounger by the half pool. Thank you, Jesus. And even the swim up bar is nice and quiet. Oh, yes. Oh, that is bloody handsome, my lovers. It really is awesome. The bloody life. Cheers. And meanwhile, back in the cabin, oh my goodness, I need to write out 32 postcards for my patrons. Uh, nibbles covered, what have we got left? Oh, we've got plenty left. And Matthew wants this bent Twix. Oh my God, it looks like there's an explosion in those clouds. Beautiful. Sail away soon. And just like that, off we sail. Next stop, Antigua. All right, out we go. Oh, by the way, these red discs indicate a red arse. I mean the aft, that you're at the aft. Goodness me. Welcome to Anderson's, which on Avia is a rum bar. Now then, there are some very interesting signature cocktails here. Any of these tickle your fancy? Yes? No? Exclusive. I think I might try a tale of Barbados. Well, they haven't got anything we want, so wine it is. Why not? Well, I think it's fair to say we would happily work our way through this menu if they had half the ingredients or if we could indeed get served. Kind of the same thing that happened last night, isn't it? All right, this is now getting very, very painful. I've got to be honest with you. Way too much waiting now. Unfortunately, there's just not much of a system going on here. We're just kind of getting ignored, you know? Really frustrating. And eventually, uh, I've gone with the Golden Tide Rum, which apparently is distilled on board. Uh, it's a double measure. There's some uh, ginger ale. It's supposed to have orange uh, peel in it, which it doesn't have. Oh, and it's supposed to have sunfire in it as well. Never mind. We'll try it on the rocks to start, eh? Yeah. It actually has got a really lovely flavour to it. And it burns on the way down. There she is, Aurelia, the rum distillery. It would be good if you could actually get served to try the rum. Alrighty, we have given up with Anderson's and pretty shoddy service actually. So we've come to the ever reliable Sindhu bar. Now then, our young Fiona Forsyth, who just happens to be married to Captain Wesley Donlop, always gets very upset when I tell people this is the secret place to come if you want to get served. All right, well, that was fun. Whilst I was at the bar getting Matthew a drink, they literally cleared my double rum, literally just took it away. Apparently I'm going to get something to replace it. Anyway, dinner time at Sindhu. The irony that it took half an hour to get that drink that has now been cleared. <laughs> Alrighty folks, so Sindhu is speciality Asian dining and each dish is priced individually. So you can order however many you want of each course. I am a massive fan normally of Doza, so probably go with that. And a peep at your main courses. I am also a massive fan of the aromatic red chicken curry. We'll see. 
and we peep at the desserts on offer. I personally would rather get two starters than a dessert, but that's just me. Well, that's a first for us. We've been to Sindhu on various Pinot ships many times, love it. Uh, Matthew's just ordered the Lambuna and been advised it's very fatty. What a weird thing to say in a speciality restaurant. So he's like, oh, that won't suit me then. Very odd, fatty. Alrighty, so we are starting with some poppadom and three chutneys. Alrighty, starters are here. This is the paneer doza, which is an Indian the rice pancake. Normally delicious, it looks bad, but smells bad. And sev puri, so these are little puffed up balls of, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, they're, they're Indian balls. <laughs> sorry, I can't talk now. Sorry about that, let's do the doza. They're really good. Lovely layers of flavor, spice, mm, delicious. And the pancakes, very light as well. Here are those little puff balls of Indian goodness. Down in one. Uh -huh. So those puff balls are filled with puff rice, uh, tamarind, and kind of like a raita. They're nice, but just a little bit too wet for my liking, too moist. So Matthew's second starter is almost like a deconstructed Caesar salad Indian style. I've got the aromatic red chicken curry, which comes with noodles, interestingly enough, and rice. We've got dal and some naan. No vegetables this time round. And quite tight with the bread, actually. They've also forgotten all the different oils and dips that come with um, my dish. All right, track someone down and here they are. So you basically add these to the noodles. I'm not using a teaspoon, I just want all of it in. Thank you, chili, chili, chili. Garlic oil. I know I've been very critical this evening and actually with good reason, but this was delicious, great level of spicing here all of the oils and the the powder on the noodles delightful the dal well you can see i've had the whole lot delicious especially with little bits of sort of um mushed up tomato in it as well very nice a bit like papu Alrighty, we are back in our cabin we've kind of given up for tonight we really have we feel like everything we're trying to do it's just an endurance test this evening. Um, and Matthew has a saying, which is, uh, it's gotta be better than being at home. And tonight wasn't better than that. When we're at home, like on a Friday evening, we have a fabulous uh, evening out at one of our local bars, easy to get served, reasonably priced, nice environment, um, and one of the best Southern Indian restaurants we've ever been to on the planet nothing compared to that this evening it was just like a catalogue of things going wrong really so we've retired to the cabin and i'm really sorry i know you want like lots of joy and happiness from me and i'm trying my best for you um but at the same time i need to report back accurately when things aren't as they ought to be and they haven't been tonight so nibbles cuddle cupboard yeah nibbles yeah oh god i'm going to big bag well my loves that's the end of part two and i'm really sorry i feel like i've ended on a bit of a bum note however there's still much to come we've got a sea day we're heading to antigua and then of course we've got our malif aero flight home to look forward to it's gonna be awesome isn't it please tell me it's gonna be awesome here's the sizzly sizzling sizzler reel for you what's coming up next Coming up in the third and final part, we sample a speciality breakfast on board. It's sea day number three as we sail to Antigua, roast at the Keys, the fly cruise and disembarkation process for the return journey home, twilight swimming and one last sunset, or at least we thought, sweet treats from Sprinkles, fabulous vegan dining at Green & Co, late night snacks and the obligatory Horlicks. We explore some of what Antigua has to offer independently, hugs and snogs dockside, 
telephone boxes, beautiful Dickinson Bay, the best rum punch of the trip, and finally back on board for what would be the worst travel experience of our lives. It's rest period. <laughs> well, where are you going to put us then? Midnight. Wow. Of course, this situation is extremely regrettable, and we understand the frustration you will feel. No, an hours ago. Your cruise card remains valid for any purchases you wish to make on board That's or indeed to get on or off the ship. We this shouldn't evening. have to make any purchases at the stage. For the entire ship's company. It's no, an hours ago. Well, from sleeping on lounges outside to being dumped at an airport for the whole night, find out all about our 16-hour nightmarish delayed journey home and the awful treatment at the hands of Pino. No, 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 no more exploring. Let's take it and take it easy. Let's get that pillow smelling so good that you just want to eat it. Love to you all, especially you. You are such a cheeky little minx. Good night, my darlings. I'll see you in part three. Mwah. Thank you all for your support in helping me reach 21,000 subscribers. Today's shout outs go to my patrons. You can become a patron by searching patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. And let's follow each other on Facebook. I mean, Facebook, Jamie W. Robbins. You can also follow me on X, Threads and Instagram at TravelBlogJamie, Cameo and Patreon.com forward slash TravelBlogJamie and YouTube.